Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Captain Silver. And this was created by Data East in 1987. And it is a uh, platform uh, game. You are a young pirate. And you are trying to get uh, treasure. And uh, a very large treasure chest at the very end of the game. And you have to play the game two times through. Fortunately, there are only three levels, but uh, two of them are, are really, really, really long. But um, you have to get halfway through a level uh, so that when you die, you start back at that halfway point. But on the later levels that are really long, you know, it's still, it's still a long ways back that you get put. Here's the attract mode. I think the graphics, even for 1987, are not very good. Um, when you kill enemies, you can collect letters, and you're trying to spell out the word Captain Silver, or the words Captain Silver, then you get an extra life. And just about every enemy you beat will drop a letter. Some enemies you beat will, um... Uh will leave you a letter that will cycle through to other letters. So if you just about got that last letter, you might want to wait a little while until it cycles to the letter that you want. And here is part of the second scene. That last scene we saw was part of scene three. But the scenes, the first scene is, a, uh, is in the town. The second scene is on a ship. Second scene is actually pretty darn short, and the third scene takes place um, on an island, uh, through a, a village in a canyon, and uh, it's and then you face off against a, a ghost pirate at the very end. This game could be very hard, and it's one hit, one hit either by enemies touching you or shooting at you will kill you. So trying to get those letters is probably not a bad idea. We'll get started here. There will be keys you can sometimes pick up and uh, they will they will usually open up a special area that will either be a shop or a bonus uh, stage. And uh, strangely, we have like Cheshire cats, or something like that in this in this level. And you have uh, like werewolves to kill. Really strange game. I'd never seen or heard of this in the arcades. But uh, yeah, I think the graphics are kind of kind of poor. See that little jar up there on the on the wall? That I think gives you temporary invincibility. And uh, you can't get that jar yet, you can't jump high enough. But shortly ahead there will be jumping boots, see them in the tree? Now you can uh, slash straight in front of you, or you can duck and slash, and you will need to be proficient in both. Especially right here you need to duck and slash these things falling out of the tree. You can climb up this ladder here and get those jumping boots. I'm not going to go back over to get the uh, the uh, uh, in temporary invincibility. It is definitely temporary. It doesn't really last that long. And now we have like this clown attacking you. This game is really weird. But yeah, remember, you're one hit killed. You get touched, you get shot, you're dead. So you have to be very careful. Do not let enemies get super close to you. That fairy, that is, that is gonna help you. That fairy gives you uh, a power up to your sword. And sometimes you can collect new swords that'll have longer range or something. Watch out for the fire that these bats shoot. But you have to be very careful. Here, I didn't notice this, but you can't fall in the water of the fountain or you die. Is that stupid or what? 
This game in general is just, it's, it's too annoying. Um, it's just not fair that you get, you die if you get touched. You don't have any life meter, you die if you get touched, you die if you get shot, and you have to get pushed back to the halfway point of a level. I mean, this level isn't so bad, but it's the last one. Boy, it's, it's a pain in the butt if you don't get far enough and get pushed all the way back to the beginning. But yeah, you have to jump on these uh, fountains at n and not fall into the water. Just jump on the, the spray. And there's a, another key up there. That key will open up a shop where I can buy better swords, uh, temporary invincibility, maybe an extra life. And you buy them with your, your score. When uh, you fulfill uh, all, or you fill in all the words or all the letters for Captain Silver, then you get an extra life, and they all start over. Those letters, oh, there's the shop. Uh, which one did I select? I think I selected a better sword. But um, once you once you fulfill all those letters, then. Uh, they will start over. But those letters will last for a long time. You don't have to pick them up right away. And in fact, like I said earlier, some of them will cycle through to other letters. And it might be worth it to wait for a moment before you get the letter you want. Now, in some areas, you will have to, like, attack or jump and attack a certain thing to make a, a, a little bridge. Otherwise, you'll die when you walk in the water or whatever the bridge is spanning across. Now, here we get on the boat. And this... Uh, don't worry. You're, you're standing still. You can't move, but those the enemies won't hurt you yet. Now, you have to uh, attack the enemies in front of you. You can get killed by simple fish jumping out of the water. This pirate truly is a wuss. And there will be, uh, there will be witches that fly around, you'll have to take care of them. Watch out for the birds, the, uh, seagulls, and the fish, and the witches. <laughs> this game has some weird enemies in it. Yeah, I think that the graphics are not very good, even for, uh, 1987. But, uh... Even this part in the game isn't that frustrating. It's later in the game where being a one-hit kill really, really gets annoying. Yeah, hearing this guy make a make a sound every time you you uh, swing your sword is super annoying. That 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 that. Oh. <laughs> really annoying. But now we reach the pirate ship, and that is level 2. And there is a key on the ship, and that'll take you to a bonus round. I didn't get to it this time around. There will be a guy coming out of the uh, hatch there, and if you take too long, another guy will come out. There will be some guys that will shoot at you or throw knives, so you have to watch out for them. You'll need to jump or duck, and you can climb up the the mast. There is the temporary invincibility in that jar. I could have picked it up. I didn't think about it. But that guy's annoying, the one shooting across from the way, so you have to watch out and remember your one-hit kill. And know where the enemies can respawn from. All right, got rid of him. If you've got a guy on a mast above you, you can jump and attack him through the floor, I believe. And this guy takes <laughs> takes a bunch of shots to kill, plus he throws d daggers at you. But some of the bigger guys you can get close to and touch without dying, including this boss, the, uh, the captain of the ship. Once you beat him, that's the end of that level. But on the steps leading up to where that pirate captain was, there is a uh, door that if you got the key to, which is 
way up on the top of the masts, you could go into a bonus area. Now we go back to a ship, or a, a little boat that goes across the way to an island. Now we've got more things to kill. This time it's this time around it's hard because uh, there will be guys in boats coming after you and they can shoot you, you know, from afar. The goal is to get close to them or to let them get close to you. Cuz the the bigger guys that take a lot longer to to kill they they can be touched including uh, some bosses like the pirate captain we saw earlier. Ah, oh, god damn it. That didn't look like it hit me. That was a bunch of crap. And now I've lost my uh, power up. So I can't attack enemies from far away. But yeah, completing the words Captain Silver uh, over and over again will will really help you out and it's very easy to do really note that uh, yeah don't forget that he can't kill you by touching you for some reason but again note that uh, uh, those letters last a long time if you don't pick them up right away they'll still be there and also note that letters, other letters of the alphabet that aren't in Captain Silver will also be dropped by the enemies. But yeah, some of them will cycle through, so you'll want to wait. You'll want to wait that guy out. Just wait a few of his shots, jump over him or duck under him, and he'll eventually float away and he won't attack you anymore. Sometimes there will be uh, diamonds and, and valuable stuff that you can pick up. And uh, you can use those for, for cash at the shop. You know, as part of your score. And now we've made it to the island. Now this part can be really, really, really hard. You have to duck and kill those crabs. And there will be these uh, natives, island natives. Just duck and scoot forward and keep slashing eventually you'll kill them but watch out for those coconuts it's easy to forget they're there they will fall on your head there's a key that I will open a shop with a little bit later and we have an annoying native coming up and this guy can throw spears at you you want to get close to him because he won't he won't kill you by touching you when you get close and this guy you can shoot him from afar with your uh, the power coming off of a powered up sword but yeah this is a good place to try to uh, build up your uh, build up your uh, letters for captain silver plenty of enemies and don't forget about those coconuts very dangerous just trigger it inch forward, trigger it, and uh, attack it. Now I think I chose an extra life right there. Yeah. And here's one of those things where you have to you have to be close to the tree, real close, and then jump and attack it, and then you'll knock it down to make a bridge. It's gonna be a lot of enemies jumping out of the water. And remember that fairy will help you. It'll give you a stronger, stronger attack with your sword. It'll give you a shot that flies out from your sword when you attack. But yeah, watch out for those natives that can throw spears. You want to get close to them if you can. Well, I was able to shoot him from far away. Those flowers that have that shoot an electrical field can be destroyed. I guess I didn't notice that first thing. There's a better shot from the uh, from the ferry. Ah, god damn it! Yeah, remember right there before you climb up the ladder to kill that fish that jumps out. Yeah, this this pirate is really wussy. He can be killed by the lamest things. Well, I'm glad I bought that extra life. 
remember right about where this key was you'll start seeing the uh, native once you go pick up the key and advance maybe a little tiny further and that's the native that can that can throw spears at you so you gotta gotta be ready to duck under and jump over spear get close and then wail on the attack yeah watch out for those damn coconuts and then this guy that doesn't throw the spear you can just keep ducking and slashing and with a power up you'll eventually kill him your shots seem to go through him ah god damn it your shots seem to go through him when he ducks but uh, when he stands back up you can hit him So annoying. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Shut up. You know, if, if you were a tough guy, you might have more reason to like yell when you attack, but you're a freaking wussy. Just shut up. <laughs> But yeah, um, if you want to get an extra life, it probably wouldn't hurt to spend a few uh, seconds just hanging around, and making sure you get the right letters, uh, letting letter some letters that cycle wait until they get to the letter that you want. Yeah, this game is just way too, way too touchy with the uh, one-hit kill. Watch out for those frickin' coconuts! Let's go into the shop again. You have to go into the shop if you have a key. You can't jump over the door. It's kinda stupid. Yeah, we'll use the invincibility. Plus you move fast. Will I even get to make use of it? Oh, I absorbed one hit. And that fairy, again, it will help you. It will give you a better shot with your uh, sword. And that shot will stay until you die. But yeah, those letters will be all over the alphabet. It won't just be letters in Captain Silver. So if you just got like a few letters left, you're probably going to wait quite a while until you get the letter you want. I'll show you what the highest uh, highest level of uh, shot from your sword is eventually. Remember to kill that fish. There, now climb up the ladder. And then you have to drop off onto, or jump off onto this little island. God damn it! Stupid frickin' fish! Yeah, you have to totally learn to inch forward a little bit at a time on a lot of the levels. Because there will be enemies that jump out and you have to be ready to deal with them. Watch out for those coconuts. Get that key and be prepared to deal with that spear chucking native. Don't be afraid to get close to him and start whacking the hell out of him with your uh, sword. And watch out for those damn uh, coconuts. Get what you need from the shop. Uh, extra lives are very affordable in this in this uh, shop. And you have to go in the shop if you have the key. Ah, I didn't get anything this time. Screw it. But yeah, there are just three levels. This is the last one, but it's so long. And again, you'll put, be put like halfway through a level if you die. So freaking lame. This game is just. It's hard, it's unforgiving, and the graphics aren't terribly good. And that little freaking guy is such a wuss, and he doesn't shut up when he attacks enemies. So annoying. But at least it's easy to get extra lives. 
Yeah, with the with the long shot with your sword, you can you can definitely take out those plants instead of just having to walk through at the right time like I did. But yeah, be prepared to kill uh, jumping fish and stuff. Yeah, you might want to jump from far away so you have time to deal with that that jumping fish there. And you're right on the back of these turtles. And like I mentioned before, you have to play the game twice through. Like in Ghosts and Goblins. You have these plants that... They're, they're fairly easy to kill if you have a far away shot. And you can attack while you're climbing up ladders, as I may have demonstrated in the... Uh, why did I fall through? That was weird. I, I demonstrated, I think, on the uh, pirate ship level that you can swing your sword upwards or to the sides. Now we now look at the uh, three-way shot. I think there's one more upgrade that you can get. And here we have, uh, like, panthers. Is that what that is? You can't climb up the uh, tree. I was trying to climb up it, but you can't do that. I'm, I was also waiting for the right letter, and I spelled Captain Silver, and I got a uh, extra life. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't kill that uh, that panther quick enough, it'll jump, and it can jump right on you and kill you. killed that uh, electrical plant, whatever the hell it is. Some weird ass enemies in this game. And now we're at the canyon, and we have to jump across on these, uh, on these rock, uh, platforms. We will need to go down, eventually. You, on this last level, oftentimes you don't get enough time. There will be a uh, time stop icon, and it'll freeze the clock for a short while, and that's, I think, just further ahead. Yeah, plenty of flying animals, or enemies, or uh, enemies on platforms shooting at you that you have to take care of uh, before you proceed in this game. I uh, just made, barely made it on that platform. Yeah, see, the time stops. Oops, fell to my death. The time will stop temporarily when you pick up that icon. And now I've lost my uh, shot power. I have to get close to that plant. But I'm stuck here and then jump across and kill it. Still, still easy to kill them. And uh, sometimes there will be a sword icon and that will lengthen your sword. It won't last forever. Good. What kind of technically flawed bullshit is that? What in the fuck? That's messed up. Yeah, this game, I'd, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, like I said, I'd never heard of this in the arcade. They have a nice long sword, and I can uh, get multiple hits on the panther before it could jump on me. Destroy that spider there. But yeah, being a one-hit kill really sucks. I think you should have been able to get, like, two hits at the very least, like in uh, Ghosts and Goblins. And, but like Ghosts and Goblins... Shit! But this is the halfway point on the, this last level. But again, once you uh, once you beat all three levels, and I'll get my long sword again. Once you beat all three levels, you have to start everything over again. The difficulty at times can be harder the second time around. A lot of the time, though, it seems that uh, it's it's no harder. At, at times it is. I think on the pirate ship it's definitely harder. 
yeah, on the pirate ship, uh, be on the lookout that even, even when you can't see an enemy, it can spawn from a place where you don't think that they would. So you really got to be careful there. It's, it's just best, in general, to not plunge ahead at all. Take your time, ease forward a little bit at a time. Yeah, we killed that electrical flower or whatever the hell it is. So many weird enemies in this game. Whoa, I just, just barely ducked under that uh, plant in, in time. Well, I hope you're having a decent week. Probably had you probably had to work today. I uh, I'm still not quite yet ready to go back to work from my injury. I'll be going back Monday. See how it see how it goes. I I'm definitely gonna have to have an assistant help me. But I have a uh, uh, walking shoe that's a lot less cumbersome than the walking boot that the doctor gave me. So I, I, I should probably be alright. I'm not going to get the clock this time around, although I really should have. See, I've only got just, was that, just over a minute? Yeah, they don't give you much time on this final level. Not much at all. You really have to take your time on uh, crossing these little boulder platforms in the canyon. That uh, crown gives you. A, ooh, I just made that jump. That crown gives you uh, extra points for the, uh, or extra money for the uh, uh, shop when you have the key, of course. Woo! Yeah, I almost made it to the end. The end is just past where that flower is up there on that ledge. Ah, oh, screw you! Well, I'm gonna zip forward and I put on invincibility. I just wanted to show you the end here. There's these skeleton uh, pirates here, and here is the boss. Note that there is a pair of jumping shoes, and there's also a uh, diamond on the ledge for more uh, more money for the shops. But you just have to hit him enough, he can fly in the air. go and there's a treasure and out comes an ugly gal that's not the princess I guess you have to rescue the princess or you have to get the, the treasure and bring it back to the princess I think that's what you end up doing the second time around but we're not gonna watch the whole second time around this is just see so you start back on the first level but uh, we'll skip ahead yeah, there is where the uh, the key was on the uh, pirate ship, way up at the top. And that key, when you use it, you go back to where the pirate was, and you get to partake in a bonus round just before him. Even if you start to engage him, you can back up and go to where the bonus area is. And it's down there at the bottom, by the stairs. Just get all the treasures. You have plenty of time. Tons of time to get all the treasures. If you if you uh, go back to the door before you get the treasures, you'll leave the room, unfortunately. So don't go back to the door until you've gotten all the treasure. Yeah, see, it's real easy to complete. And then we beat the pirate captain and continue on to stage three. And now... There is the maxed out uh, firepower for your sword. It's kind of kind of cool. Just 
beat this guy and uh, then you get to see the true ending to Captain Silver. Just die. <laughs> Just a noisy little wussy ass pirate. Yeah, there's your treasure chest and you get to take it back to the princess. And you marry the princess. Certainly a lot better looking than her imposter. <laughs> I can't I can't really read the text there, it's it's kind of tough to read against the background. And then you gotta put in your initials. You can't move down through a, a row of initials. You just have to keep moving left and right. That is Captain Silver by uh uh Daddy East in 1987 was his crazy climber ratings, and thanks for watching Captain Silver by Daddy East in 1987. And this was recommended by YouTube user Paul Contreras. I'll see you later with another video, folks. Have a good one, everybody. Bye bye.